Beauty is pain. Is it worth it? start working on that golden tan, you need to think about how to protect yourself from the damaging effects of the sun. Dr. Richard Bezozo with Mole Safe USA is here to offer a few tips on what you can do. Welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank you very much. It's summertime. People want to get out and enjoy the sun, but I see you're nodding. You're like, there's some things we need to do, things we need to remember, right? Yeah, the most dangerous activity Americans will engage in this summer is being in the sun. With that in mind, we need to protect our skin. We need to protect our skin against the risk of of skin cancer, of uh, premature aging, uh, we have to protect our eyes against cataracts. So there, are, there are some things we can do, some things we can do okay. to provide this level of protection. The first thing is we need to avoid the sun during peak sun hours. Which are what? Like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, I thought I had heard it was 10 to 4, but it is. 10 to 4 10 is, is the right number, but 10 to 2, because if you tell people to stay out of the sun all day, <laughs> they're just not going to listen That's to it. That's a good point. That's a good point. The next thing is don't sunburn. We recommend that you use at least a 15 all day long, every day. Even days you're not going to be going to the beach. But if you are going to the beach, you want to use a higher number to extend the amount of time you can stay in the sun. Now, here's the problem. People think that if I put that on, I'm bulletproof. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not. All that does is prolong your burn time. So there comes a point where you will burn even with sunblock. Now sunblock needs to be applied 30 minutes before you go into the sun, at least every two hours, and immediately after perspiring uh, or swimming. Now for children, there's a great product because this not only tells you when to reapply the lotion, but it also tells you when to just tell the child you've had enough sun for the it's day. It's just a band around their it's wrist. It's a band right? okay. and they coat that band with uh -huh. suntan lotion like they do anything else. Now there's also a, a clothing that you can wear that will protect your skin as well. A lot of celebrities have seen wearing these. <laughs> there's, yes. there's sun protective clothing. It's, it's relatively new. Mm -hmm. it, it, sun protective clothing is rated uh, 50, uh, 30. We've got uh -huh. uh, shirts that can be worn uh, in the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, we have bathing suits, hats, uh, more things for children, as well as shirts. Very important clothing. Madonna, Gwyneth Paltrow, a lot of people seem wearing the clothing too, so they take care about their skin as well. They care about their now, skin. You've got another gadget over here that I love, that you can check your moles. Uh, the doctor actually can check the moles. Typically, uh, doctors in the United States will, the dermatologists will do what they call a naked eye exam. They look at you, they go up and down, they say, well, that looks bad, let's just take it out. Mm -hmm. It used to be when in doubt, cut it out. Okay, so now it's when in doubt, check it out. This, you can actually get a chance to look what, how much uh, closer at this moment. Oh, this is very close viewing. Mm -hmm. This allows to, to see the subcellular structures, wonderful device. These are all great tips. I love it. You're giving people some options. Thank you so much, Doctor. We appreciate having you on board. During the summer, I can probably... Well, I can naturally during the summer, but during like the fall and stuff, like I tan probably like four times a week in the tanning bed because for cheerleading we get a free membership. I stay in the tanning bed for 20 minutes at one time. I do not use self tanners and lotions because I don't believe in them because I don't think they work. Yes, my friends go to the tanning bed a lot and um, it depends, but they probably go like on average like two times a week. Yes, I do think of the effects of tanning when I'm tanning. I wear goggles um, on my eyes so my eyes don't burn and, you know, die. And um, I sometimes put on, like, lotion after the tanning bed. So I am conscious about that it could potentially get me skin cancer. I use, I use bronzers and things like that, but I just, I mean, I've never had a problem with, like, going to the tanning bed, so I probably would just continue to do that. If I realized I had skin cancer, I'd realize that it was definitely not worth it to go to the tanning bed. I mean, it's good, you know, to get a little bronze, but it's not worth getting cancer. Even though my dad got skin cancer, I truly believe that I would only get skin cancer if they're going obsessively to the tanning bed, like, too much and completely frying my skin. And so I'm not really worried about that. And when my skin burns and burns, like, if it burns twice, that's a bad sign, and then I would stop. Well, having had skin cancer, I'm much more aware of uh, being outside without sunscreen. I'm very much more aware. 
I took for granted before that there was no danger or that I was not going to get into trouble, but I know now that I very much could get in trouble. I think one reason I got skin cancer, I have the type of skin that is very susceptible to skin cancer, so I have to be extra careful. And for many, many years, I was not careful. And so I guess I'm not surprised that I have it. I use, now that I've had skin cancer, I'm much more careful when I'm outside. I play golf. I try to remember to put on sunscreen. I don't always, but I, I really do try to remember to do that. If I go to a football game and it's really sunny, um, I'm very aware if I don't have sunscreen on, it, it makes me nervous that I'm uh, getting, getting in the sun too much. Well, watching my daughters lay out in the sun at the beach, uh, I look at that very differently now, having had skin cancer and knowing a little more about it. I watched my mother and sisters doing the exact same thing year after year after year when I was growing up. So I, being a little more knowledgeable at this point, I really don't want my daughters just laying out in the sun like I saw my mother and my sisters. Well, I don't know a lot about tanning salons or tanning pills or, or that type of thing. I can't imagine that it could be good for your skin. Um, it just makes me think that they're putting how they look above their health, and it just does not sound like a wise decision. Beauty is pain. Is it worth it? You decide or take the risk. Hip, hip.